When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? I'll spend what needs to be spent on what I choose to spend it on. We're not compromising if you always get what you want. This it's is crap. fine. These are all crap. No. I don't care if we go in debt a little bit for this wedding. Just give that. Oh. You give me a number, and then if you double it, it's still okay? Well, so that will be okay for anything I would like to spend then? No. Weddings are a bride who approaches planning with ease. Weddings are a groom who wants everything he sees. Weddings are a budget that undergoes a financial squeeze. Meet newlyweds Julie and Derek. The road to their big day was certainly not an easy ride, especially when it came to their financial details. So let's see how they tried to rein in their spending and look back at the events leading up to their wedding day. My name is Julie and I'm a 28-year-old teacher. I met Derek, who works as a marketing manager, six years ago while we were at a student retreat. I recently packed up my life and moved to a new city to be with him. This is the story of how Derek took control of my dream wedding and made it his own. Somebody said that our wedding was the most authentic wedding they've ever seen because it was truly Derek and me. Like, there was no pretense about it. It was all us. It was nice to hear that. Yeah, it was. It was really nice. It was fun. Well, it may have been pure, authentic fun on the day, but getting there wasn't without some genuine struggles. So let's check out the wedding adventures of Julie and Derek. Oh, I felt so sorry for our wedding planner. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that it would be the most challenging job that this wedding planner would ever have. Uh, dealing not with the typical crazy bride, but definitely with um, a very crazy, crazy groom. It wasn't that bad. Oh, you were that bad. Let's hope Heidi Allen, with her five years of experience as a wedding planner, was able to check each of Derek's moves without letting Julie's wishes get sidelined. Enough. You need to go and relax. This is craziness. My role as a wedding planner is to be a buffer, a buffer to help them with their decisions, their compromises, to help them plan it, take the stress off of them, and make their wedding dream, their planning process, flawless. I need to start um, envisioning your wedding. So do you have uh, an idea? Do you have a theme? A total winter theme. Lots of snow, winter. snowflakes everywhere. I want it to be big. Probably around 300 guests once we factor in all our friends and family. 300 guests, so you... No, I just, Julie, you don't want 300 guests? That's not what I guests? want at all. When I, like, envision my perfect wedding, it would be something small with, like, very, very close friends, just immediate family. But we have so many friends and family well, that we can get ticked off if to we the don't other invite here. No, I, uh, no, I know that, but they don't all have to come that day. So we may have to, down the line, compromise a little on the guest list. I want, a, like, a, a big setting. I was thinking the campus bar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard you just say campus bar. Yeah. Is that's this where, where I work. the reception is? We met each other because we worked on the student councils that sort of support the bars. See, I can understand that. If this is somewhere that you met to maybe try and incorporate something like a bar. What I was thinking is the actual reception at the bar and then the ceremony at the theater. Uh, theater? This is his combo <laughs> platter with the bar, campus bar reception. He wants to have our ceremony in the theater. And you're getting married on stage. the stage. Yeah, okay. and we can set up a scene in the background. OK. You want a scene in the background? Well, yeah, we have to decorate it. We're not just going to get married with a black curtain in the background. I will try to keep an open mind on this. Okay. We'll visit but it. That's not what I think. for sure. Yes, not yes. Not for sure. Do you have the dress? No. No dress yet? <laughs> no dress yet. OK, so you're going to need your wedding gown then? Yes. Were you thinking of wearing a veil? Yeah, I, like I guess all the stuff that a bride would normally wear. Okay. Well, I don't want a veil. A veil's like so old school. You're not wearing it. Well, I know, but I have to see you in it, and it's it's old. It's like. I like veil. You don't want a veil? Like, really? No, it's just Where like. Did this it's come so you old. want big, and you don't want her to wear a veil? Yeah, but she has really nice hair, and they can do something really nice with her hair. She doesn't need a veil. Yeah, but veils are sort of like. That's like it's the bridal. one thing that I sort of. Yeah, but like, if you get a nice associate. dress and flowers, you don't need a big veil. 
Okay, let's move on from the veil then. What about the transportation? <laughs> I'd like so to see funny. us arrive like in a horse and carriage or a sleigh. Derek, where did this idea come from? With it's this part of the vision. Like, it's winter. Carriage. It's it fits into like a winter themed wedding. It's all up here. I've got it. Like it's it'll be fine once we get going. Yeah, but I'll get taken care of. Yeah, Derek, we need you to tell us yes, what you, you have got to tell going. Us. Well, I am. I am. I'm trying to tell you. Is there anything else, Derek? that you need to tell me about? I really like to see a photo booth at the venue. So nice. that, a photo booth, like you see in the malls. Where are we going to get a photo booth? Yeah, like that, like it's uh, a good idea, but it's just it, like, it, where it, are you gonna does, get it one? It sounds really cool. Well, you, I'm sure you can rent them. Can you look into renting them for us? It's a quirky, neat idea. Let's look into it mm -hmm. uh, and, and see what it costs. Yeah. I think that Heidi should prepare herself for Derek being the crazy, in control freak type of groom. I think as the day approaches, I'm gonna get a little more stressed when it comes to uh, the wedding, but as long as I get what I want, everything's gonna work out just fine. Okay, <laughs> it's time, guys. I need to know oh. if we have enough money to pull this Winter Wonderland wedding off. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Okay, um, Derek? We may be able to get winter, but I don't think we're going to get Wonderland. Coming up. You give me a number, and then if you double it, it's still okay? Oh, so that will be okay for anything I would like to spend then? No. Personally, the wedding day is very important, but what comes after is way more important. It's one day of your life. When it comes to planning your wedding, you have to be able to share an accurate snapshot of your vision. I really like to see a photo booth at the venue. So what? that a photo booth like you see in the malls. Where are we going to get a photo booth? And at the end of the show, we'll reveal how much it costs to develop the image Derek had for their big day. I brought a whole troop of people to do the walkthrough for the reception and the ceremony site, because quite frankly, I needed some more voices of support for you my team. You needed people to beat up on me and my idea. Well, no, and your vision, not your idea, but your vision, yes. Your vision needed some tweaking, my friend. Yeah. It needed some tweaking. Oh my God. I want a stage. <laughs> On the stage will be our head table. It tastes like beer in here. Well, there was a bar night like last night. Oh, it's like Ew. beer and skank. Is there a bar night before your wedding? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have dinner when it smells like bar. No, no, no the cleaners are gonna come in and completely Aerosol clean up the bar. Aerosol the place? Yeah, it'll be distinct. This isn't the first time we've done a wedding after a bar night. Um, we've done it successfully many times. Really? That's a good thing to hear. Have you considered anywhere else other than this place? It's already booked. It's already booked? Good. Then this is, this Julie, is where it is. Julie, you honestly didn't know this. No, I didn't know it was already booked. We were discussing we it. We talked about this. We talked about all this. We're getting a great deal for this place. And he's already paid his deposit. You've already paid the deposit, Derek? Oh, yeah. I wanted to book it and make sure we had it available. Derek, we haven't even talked about it if this was we the place for sure. It. We have discussed it. Yeah, discussing it. it means that it's not over. The conversation has well, not reached a compromise at all. We're not compromising if you always get what you want. Well, I didn't we even needed know to play. You booked it. These decisions have to be made together. But we have discussed these things. Yeah, but discussing something and then saying, you know what, we've agreed upon one venue or one ceremony site, and then I'm going to go ahead and book it. That's the conversation that we did not have. I'm really sorry. Like, I won't do it again. I it's my wedding too, Derek. Well, I know, and I'm trying to work towards having a good wedding. When I found out today that Derek had put a deposit down on the reception, I was pissed. I think I'm more mad at myself because I knew he would do something like that, and I should have reined him in earlier. What I want to do is have tool and light on every single railing, white tool, white lights, backdrop behind the head table on the stage. There's going to be crystals and snowflakes coming down. Okay, cost. We have $1,000, you've told me. Right. That's your ceremony venue and in here. Honestly, Derek, you are asking for a lot here. It's not realistic at it all, It is Derek. realistic and it can happen. We've had weddings in here before and it'll look great. So, just how much is it going to cost to turn this um, campus bar into a winter wonderland? 
My vision was really important to me, and I knew exactly where to go to get everything I needed for the decor. This is exactly the arch I'd like at the entrance. I really want the snowflake in the background, maybe some other smaller snowflakes with it, as well as some of the trees from there. We could have a chandelier like this in the middle of the dance floor. I don't remember around. discussing chandeliers. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it looks, now that we've seen it, it looks great. Derek. Big background, Derek. snowflakes. Derek, hanging Derek, from Derek, the... Derek, just calm down for a second. Let's, it's everything that works. Let's just try to get some actual prices of these things well, first, yeah, that's and fine. then we'll figure out what we can actually afford. Remember? Okay. We have a budget. Wow. And you said it. I know. So let's see what we can get. Is that the type of backdrop you could do on, behind our head table, yep. Charlie? How much is the backdrop with the winter garland? 130. All right, what was the cost for the arch? All the arches are $60. There's $60, that one, or there's a right. lighted arch here, too. Now, the large snowflake, we have, you said $25, right? 25 alone, but if you want to have the scenery, it'll mm -hmm. be around 200 What do you mean by scenery? So we'd have the large snowflake in the center, a couple of the smaller ones, large oh. tree. We have seven-foot so white tree. Background. Probably my biggest problem with uh, our location for our reception is the fact that I want it to not look so much like a bar. No. Like, if there's something that you can help us with with the chairs or, or even chair with the tables. Are nice. yeah. Chair covers are three fifty. Oh, no. <laughs> never mind. No. You, you can rent a chair for $1.75. Yeah. Love that. that. What That'll kind work. of chairs? They're white bistro style. Nice. Oh, so that would be nice. Like okay, so everything I've just listed, I want you to both take a guess and tell me how much it costs. I think we can do it for a thousand bucks. Oh, Derek, you must live in a dream world. All of that stuff's gonna be like at least two thousand oh. dollars. At least. Would you like to hear the answer? Yeah. yeah Seventeen seventy-five. Just almost doubled our budget so here. So what? You told us that we could do the ceremony and the venue for a thousand dollars. Well, I thought we could. Yeah. So are you saying you're wrong? Well, I guess so, but Say it doesn't it. matter. Say it. I well, I'm hear wrong it. about the thousand dollars, but this is what I want. Uh, I didn't know how much all this costs. The new budget is now $1,775. Oh, okay, so this is the way everything's gonna go. Well, it could be if this is what I want. This is what we were gonna get. What you want. This is what I want. There is nothing you're going to bend on. We can't take no. some of the trees out. Maybe we'll no. take the four chandeliers out. No. That's gonna start to bring us down. No. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. We no. could even get I rid of the linen. I want everything that we talked about. I want the snowflakes. I want the arch. Chandeliers, all this done. This is you what give we need. me a number, and then if you double it, it's still okay. Well, so that will be okay for anything I would like to spend. Then? No. Oh. oh. Okay. I Derek. See. So it's just stuff that you would like. Then well, you can This is what your we budget. need. This is for both of oh, okay, us. Okay, because this is so some stuff is we stuff and some stuff is you stuff. Well, yes. And some stuff is me stuff. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to be more clear about that because I'm not too sure if we want to do this anymore. Wow, and this is only the beginning. I had a really difficult time trying to coordinate schedules between my bridesmaids, my mom, and me. So ultimately, I had to go dress shopping all by myself. At least, Derek didn't try and come along. I need help. Help. Okay. When in doubt, borrow someone else's family. I managed to wrangle in a rental family for myself. They helped me out, they gave me their honest opinion, and I was very happy about that. What do you guys think about this? Honestly. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that one on you. You don't like this no, one? No, I don't like that okay. one. Okay. How much is that one? $769. Not a bad price. How much is that one? A thousand. Yeah, seven sixty nine is a good price then. <laughs> I'm learning a lot today. <laughs> the next one. Wow. Okay. What do you think? It's really not flattering. The first one was better okay. than this one. You first hated one. the first one. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this but the first worse. one was better. <laughs> and that one's better than this one. <laughs> no. This is embarrassing. Ouch! Sometimes, Julie, the truth hurts. Okay. Oh, I like oh, the back. back. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Yeah, I like all the little buttons. How much is it? $509. Oh, my God. Really? That's yeah. a great wow. price. Yeah, yeah, you'd be crazy not to buy it. Yeah, crazy like a fox. The cost of this dress would help offset their spending. Thank you, rental family. I think I found the dress. My rental family were brutally honest, and they helped me out, and I, I owe them. I owe them. Maybe I'll send them a, a Christmas card or something. Thank you, rental family. I really wanted some sort of winter theme type of transportation for our wedding. I thought having the sleigh bring us to the ceremony site would have been 
really unique and creative. And I, however, was not on board with the sleigh idea. I didn't think it was practical at all. Luckily, when we spoke to the owners of the horse and sleigh, they told us that we needed like eight or nine inches of packed snow in order for the sleigh to even run. So we sort of gave up that idea pretty quickly. They ended up showing us a, an alternate. Woo! 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 <laughs> so what do you think, guys? I think it's great. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really different. Different? That's an understatement. Well, it'll be great on the wedding day, though. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think? You know what? I think it's cool. This is fun. Yeah, I just, just hope we can work this into the budget. How much is this? Cost you five hundred dollars for a day. It's totally unique. No one would ever have something no. like this. It's just the cost. Still, I'm still a little bit shaky about. So, Steve, I think we're gonna book it. Derek, we what? haven't decided yet if we're gonna book it or not. Well, you just said you're having fun. Yeah, I know we're having fun, but we haven't even discussed whether or not it can fit into our transportation budget part. Well, Heidi. Can you shovel the budget around to make sure this fits in? I'm sure it'll work in. We can, we can yes. make it work. You're always sure it's going to work out, Derek. <laughs> but it's my calculator that I don't know whether it's going to add up. <laughs> at the end of the day, I think the horse and buggy was worth every penny. Fun. It was pretty fun to arrive at the ceremony in it. When I was already in it, it was fun. Yeah. It was the getting into it and getting out of it that wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. You just said how much is this going to cost? Yeah. You have been spending like crazy. Every decision has been yours. I mean, just willy-nilly money all over this city. My ring wouldn't fit over my finger. I guess because it was so hot that day. I mean, it was... Uh, oh, it was very hot. It was hot. so hot, we had to take pictures inside. And... Yeah. When putting together your perfect day, it's easy to get carried away by unbridled enthusiasm. So, Steve, I think we're going to book it. Derek! We what? haven't decided yet if we're going to book it or not. Well, you just said you're having fun. Yeah, That'd I know we're having fun, but we haven't even discussed whether or not it can fit into our transportation budget. At the end of the show, we'll uncover whether Julie was able to harness Derek's spending. We already had Julie's rings, but we hadn't picked mine yet, so we brought my mom along. You know, my mom's a bit of a jewelry freak. We're looking for a wedding band for me. My fiance's already got her set. She's in white gold. Did you want to stick with white gold? Yeah, for sure. And diamonds? Do you want diamonds yes. in your band? We have some new designs in. I can show you. How much is this one? That one's $449. I okay. like that one, Derek. Well, that's nice. It's very mm -hmm. understated. Are Another there any new with more one diamonds? that just came in with no diamonds? No, with more diamonds. More diamonds? More diamonds? Yeah. How many more do you want? I'm not sure Derek has a limit. Did I actually see that one right there? This is beautiful. Yeah, but this one doesn't even look like a wedding ring. It's like yeah, a, it does. a blingy pimp ring, We're a wedding ring. Like, look at yours. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, but beautiful. mine needs to be like this. Well, his needs to be too. How much is this one? That one was $1,400, and it's on for $700. Julie, it's half price. It's a lovely ring, Derek, but it doesn't look like a wedding ring. Now, what if I got rid of my high school ring, and I wore it on that finger? And then I got a band that you like as my wedding ring. But that means that you're going to get two of them. Well, you have you're two. You're getting two. Yeah, but the bride always gets two. Well, why can't the, the groom? The bride usually gets three. I had three when I got married. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. Like mother, like son. We're going over our budget. Well, it, it's not costing as much as yours did. No, well, I, I know it doesn't cost as much as mine did, but you don't need to get two. Why don't well, we just I think they look one? nice. Yeah, because we're bling bling. You're lucky your mother's here. And don't put me in the middle. Well, you like both of them. Well, sure. They're beautiful. But does he need both of them? Yeah. <laughs> I can't win. Seems to me that this is a case of like mother, like son. We went in to buy one ring and we came out with two. And now you have more diamonds than I do. <laughs> my friends thought that I should buy my shoes at a fancy wedding bridal place and get a pair of white boats that I'd never wear again. They were mortified at the fact that I actually wanted to buy my shoes from a large department store. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, but there's lots of stores downtown we haven't checked at yet. So I know, but first. I don't necessarily want to have to go to a bridal store. Like, 
We have to kind of stay in some sort of a budget. I need something Big. like thicker and I need something really tall. Shoes to me don't really matter to you too much. Like I don't really want to spend a whole lot of money on them. Well, you've come to the right place then. Oh, look at these ones. These ones have a clear heel. Yeah, okay. there's a little bit of stripper action going I on. I like that. I like the idea of clear shoes, that's for sure, but they're not bad. Too. I'm not sold on the heels though. You don't think you'd want a, a skinnier heel? No, I want something that I can be comfortable and dance with. Okay, online. try the next ones on though. I don't really like these ones. You know what, Julie? I do like, like the skinnier heel. Then you can buy them for your wedding, Kara. <gasps> what else do you have? I don't even know how these ones work. They just stick your foot right through here. Sometimes I really do care about what my friends think, but at the same time, when it comes to this whole wedding stuff, I'm not into the whole variety sort of stuff. I will do things my own way, for sure. They're thick. Yeah. They make you tall. Yeah. How much are they? They're only 25 bucks. I kind of think you should look somewhere else before you make a final decision. Yeah, but where else am I going to look, Kara? Like, I'm going to have to look in a bridal store. I'm going to end up paying probably $200 for a pair of shoes. Yeah, but we can also probably find cheaper shoes somewhere else as well. Cheaper than $25? Cheaper With shoes? a skinnier heel. I don't think she wants a skinny heel. No, Kara. She wants a hooker shoe. <laughs> hooker it up it is. <laughs> I was supposed to meet Heidi to take a look at the photo booth that she had sourced out, but I couldn't make the appointment, so she ended up going it on her own. Oh, cool, look at that, just like in the mall. What type of price am I looking at for something like this? I do have a budget, I'm going to warn you right now. So I have a budget of $500 for one of these booths. It'll never happen. You're probably looking at approximately uh, $2,700. $2,700. For Just for the photo booth. Yeah, and that includes all your photos for free for the evening. What if I brought it up to, say, $1,000? wouldn't even cover the cost of the film for the night. Really? So, uh, we have to talk about your bottom line then. What is the uh, best price you can give well, me? I'm going to sharpen my pencil. Yes, I do. 2600 would be my bottom price. That's it. That's it. Not even 25. No. Okay. We finally agreed on a menu even though it was a little bit of a battle. I thought we could have a nice simple four course meal as most I would think most weddings would have and that would be it. I wanted bigger. I wanted more courses. It's okay, I'm glad with what we got. We'd like, still be eating if, <laughs> if, if Derek got what he wanted. Right now, like, I, we'd be eating right now. In addition to our dessert, I mm -hmm. sort of wanted to set up like a, like a candy table, like all different types I of candy love and it. stuff. I absolutely yeah? love it. Yeah. Awesome. Candy table? That's an awesome idea. Like a candy yeah. bar. And I like love have little this baggies. Idea. It's very interactive with awesome. your awesome. guests. Are you serious, Derek? Yeah. You just said how much candy. is this gonna cost? Yeah. You have been spending like crazy. Every decision has been yours. I mean, just willy-nilly money all over this city. Yeah, it's candy, Derek. Julie, it won't be that I much. I think it's a fabulous idea, and if you want Thank it, you. I think you should have it. I rounded up my girls, and we went out shopping, and like we were like truly kids in a candy store. Um, well, for a while at least. Right. Go <laughs> crazy, okay? Like, get whatever you want, and. Anything? We'll just fill it up. I would really like to be seated at the candy table. <laughs> you should have a little bit of candy. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Maybe I'll just take this. Yeah. Just <laughs> bring this up to the cash. Good. Good times. What are you doing here? Well, I came to see how the candy shopping was going. We're fine. Derek, just go. Well, this, just go. These don't even match our colors, though. It's Our colors candy. are black, red, and silver, and none of this stuff matches. None of it. So what, Derek, nobody's gonna look at it and go, oh my god, they got all matching candy to fit their decor. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I'm not gonna should. eat any of it because it's rest. all disgusting candy. It doesn't have wow. to be disgusting candy. I wish it was all what good candy kind of that I'd like to eat. Derek, you know leave it. Good. Leave no, it, it's is fine. Crap. These are all crap. No, no, I mean, oh my god. Derek, it doesn't like, have to match. See, the red cinnamon hearts are okay. You need stuff like this. Basketball and stuff that we need. No, just, no, just, just give that. Just, oh. Okay, Derek, go. Get out of here. Bye, Derek. That wasn't one of the finest moments for sure. No. I didn't really enjoy being kicked out of a bulk food store. But you can take some responsibility of why I had to remove you from it, right? Well, yeah, you didn't have to throw the candies all over the floor, though. I, I did not throw the candies on the floor. Well, we shouldn't have been fighting in a bulk food store. Exactly. We should not have been fighting in a bulk food store.
Coming up. I realized the photo booth is very unique. It's a great idea, but how much did you want to go into debt for this? Because right now, you're going into a lot of debt. I made the, uh, the veil, the long veil that went with it. And I remember my mother being very upset because I was still sewing it the night before the wedding. <laughs> When planning your big day, spending often goes hand in hand with desire. Then I got a band that you like as my wedding ring. But that means that you're going to get two of them. Well, you have you're two. two. Yeah, but the bride always gets two well, of them. Well, why can't the groom? The and at the end of the show, we'll let you in on whether Julie and Derek were able to band together enough cash to cover their costs. Heidi had some concerns about our budget and the fact that we were going over. I really didn't care, but it was apparent that Julie did. Well, I didn't want to go into debt over this wedding. I've called the two of you here today because I have some concerns. The budget is way over. Um, the only thing we can do at this point is start cutting. Biggest thing, the photo booth. No. Yes. No. We could take out a couple of thousand dollars by just taking this photo booth out. Yeah, and you're right taking there. out a totally unique item that's not been seen at other weddings. I no. realize this, Derek. I realize the photo booth is very unique. It's a great idea. But how much did you want to go into debt for this? Because right now, you're going into a lot of debt. We really need to start looking at where we can cut things. From my perspective, it's totally fine to like to cut out the photo booth. That's a huge expense that we don't need. We already have a photographer, right? Yeah, everyone has a photographer. But when the fact that you're getting married in a theater is a unique item. We don't have to have unique items every five minutes to pull this wedding off. No, I'd like that though. But like, we don't we can't afford it. Yeah. It's just it's not there's no room for it. I I don't care if we go in debt a little bit for this wedding. Excuse me? I don't think I've ever heard a groom say that. Where is it going to stop? We've, we've gone above and beyond for a lot of different things. Well, I don't want to cut out the photo booth. I wasn't really surprised to hear that our budget's going overboard. There are a lot of things I want. But, you know, in the end, I really don't care if we go over budget too much. We set a budget out. We gave it to Heidi to begin with, and that's what I want to stick with. And there's Let's nothing else way. that we can take there away. There is nothing else. That is the big ticket item right there that we need to cut. So you guys are pushing me into a corner to get rid of the photo booth. Derek, it, it's out. It's too expensive. I'm sorry, hun, but it's out. Fine. Just fine. Cut it out. I'm not going to win this battle anyway, so just cut it out. Yes, this is a good decision. Good decision. Thank you. We're cutting it out. We're going to get back on track now. OK. OK? No more, Derek. Thanks, Heidi. No more. Good luck with that one, Heidi. I have to admit, I was I was really shocked, but I was very happy and, and proud. I thought we turned a corner when Derek said, you know what, that's fine. We'll cut the photo booth out. I was getting the feeling throughout our wedding planning process that this was becoming more about Derek's vision, and I kind of wanted something that was for me. So I uh, rounded up my friends, and we went veil shopping. The thing is, Cheryl, Derek does not want me to get uh, a veil at all. He doesn't really? think it's a necessary expense. He really was against this whole going for a veil shopping situation. It's not really long enough or big enough. I want Derek to be really angry about the whole situation. Oh, oh my goodness. I like that one. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> that is perfect. Yes, baby. <laughs> well, this is too much. Yeah. This is too much. Derek's well, going to agree. <laughs> oh. This one. It's got the length. I love it. Cheryl, what do you think? I love it. I think it was a, a small victory in the, the war of our wedding planning. <laughs> I needed that photo booth at the wedding. So much for dropping the photo booth idea. We were chatting about this machine on the phone. We were, yeah. Um, I'm concerned it's a little bit too expensive. What I'm hoping to do is we can work out a deal, maybe about 500 bucks. I know we rent them for 1500 so. 1500 eh? I can't, I can definitely not afford that. Do you think if I got a guy to come in with a truck, move it up there, have my groomsmen yeah, look after it, it then do you think uh, we can get it down to 500 bucks then? What I can do is I can call my boss, I'll tell them you guys are going to be responsible for it, moving yeah. it, bringing it back, the whole Absolutely. works, and we'll see See what he says comes up with a price. Where do we look? Well, all right, I'll see what I can do. He's got a quick hand. But not as fast as yours, Derek, when it comes to spending money. Yes. <laughs> That's so nice. 
Dude, that's totally worth framing. Jeff? Oh, yeah. What'd you find out? We can do it for a thousand dollars. Thousand bucks, eh? Best you can do? That's it, yeah. For what it's worth and what you're gonna have get out of it, I'd do it. I mean. I think we're gonna do it, Jeff, for sure. I thought, you know what? Forget it. I'm going behind their back. I'm gonna keep it a surprise to Julie and Heidi. And I. I surprise. I, well, I instead almost... of a lie. <laughs> I knew I had to do something special for Julie because I really loved her, and you know that's where the idea of Craig Cardiff performing at our wedding came about. Did you just say you really loved her? Well, love you. <laughs> there you go. Since I've been kind of a jerk with all these things with Julie, is I'm kind of feeling that now. Is I want to bring in Craig. He's just gonna come and sing a song. Well, for he's a singer-songwriter, and I'd like to bring him in to sing our first dance. It would cost us some money. Are you serious? You know what, this sounds wonderful that you want to do this for her and I commend you for that because yes, you have been a little difficult with Julie through the process, but you know what? No room, none. Well, we need to make it happen. I need to call him, see if he's available. Derek, we're we, over the budget. It doesn't We've matter, gone it doesn't over. matter. My job is to keep you on budget. Well, I understand that's your job, but I care about making Julie happy too. Well, how much do you think this guy's gonna cost? Probably around $500. And you think he will do it for 500? I, I'm not sure, we have to call him. Let's give him a call, see if he's available. After all, what's the worst that could happen? Hey Craig, it's Derek from Up at the Wall, how's it going? Good. I have a question for you. Uh, okay. I wanted to see if you're available to actually perform live our first song. Is there any way you could come up here and do this for $500? I would I'd love to be able to say yes to that. Unfortunately, the final price will have to be 750 Okay, that's fine. We'll go with that. Craig, don't even worry about it. We'll book it for 750 bucks, and I'll call the agent. No, no. Hey, thanks a lot, Craig. You keep going further and further and further with this budget. Like, money seems to just be no object to you at all. Well, it's not when it comes to our day. Like, it's an extra 250 bucks, and it's fine. The problem is, is this isn't like an extra $250. It's an extra $750. Put 750 extra bucks in the budget, find it some way, somehow, because we need to do this. Derek, you're, you're making my job very difficult here. What I need to know now is, am I supposed to be curbing your spending? Am I supposed to be saying no to things? Or am I supposed you, to just you let you You can give go? me any suggestions you want, but I'll spend what needs to be spent on what I choose to spend it on. This, this isn't for me, Heidi. This is for Julie. I have to do this for her. You know what? We maybe should have thought about that when all the other things we got were about Derek. We maybe should have put that into there. And Heidi's stress was just beginning to mount. The problem with having our reception at the student bar was the fact that there was a bar night the night before our wedding. Heidi wasn't happy at all that I told her that she had to stay up the entire night before the wedding, but it was my understanding that's her job to help us out, so that's what we made yeah, her do. Yeah, the day of the wedding, not the night and the whole day of the wedding. Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? It's two o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's probably like quarter I after told right you, now. no drinking. Time to go, sweetheart. Let's go. Wrap it up. Come on, everybody. Wrap it up. But I don't believe this. There is, I'm like not even touching this. Oh my God. There's a flipping bra. This is disgusting. Oh my God. Oh, I don't believe this. There is just no way. I can't even see this turning into a winter wonderland. When I arrived here this evening, the music was pumping. This place was filled with people. Smashed bottles everywhere. I mean, I can't believe this is even gonna come together. But look at it, the furniture is gone. The new furniture is coming in. It's phenomenal. Coming up. Okay, we're good. Yay! Yay! You're a table dancer now, Julie. <laughs> with my stress shoes. <laughs> Wedding's all about the bride. Well, when you have 100 people staring at you, it's definitely all about the bride, and it was scary. I don't know, I didn't like it. I don't want to ever be do that again. <laughs> so I hope this works out. When working with a wedding planner to create the ideal day, sometimes a handful of dollars can lead to fisticuffs. Am I supposed to be curbing your spending? Am I supposed to be saying no to things? Or am I supposed you, to just you let you go? You can give me any suggestions you want, but I'll spend what needs to be spent on what I choose to spend it on. And at the end of the show, we'll unveil just how much Derek spent to create his vision for their big day. The 
morning of the wedding, um, I, I can't say it felt like any other day because I knew it wasn't any other day, but I wasn't nervous at all and I was excited. I was more overwhelmed just by seeing everybody and knowing that, uh, that this is the day, the day that we are going to get married. So this is the veil, eh? Yeah. That's good. Thank you. What do you think Derek's going to say? <laughs> oh, she got a veil. Oh, she got the biggest veil ever made. <laughs> it's not that big. It's, it's very classic. So it's not big at all. I could pretty much wrap the whole wedding party in this <laughs> And while Julie wrapped things up at the salon, Heidi was nailing down some last minute details. I actually volunteered to do this. I am decorating this entire wagon with garland. I am running out of time. Somebody in a second. Well, Heidi, if you're feeling prickly now, just wait until you see this. Heidi was really surprised that I showed up the morning of the wedding at the venue. You know, she should have expected it by now. I had thrown her through so much else, but, you know, she was uh, a little upset. She said I shouldn't have been there and that she had everything under control, but I needed to see with my own eyes that everything was going to plan. Derek! I have a bone to pick with you. Come What's with me. What is this? This is a photo booth. We yeah. decided no photo booth. No, you decided no photo booth. I decided How that I wanted. How much did you pay for this? A thousand dollars. You paid a thousand dollars. Yeah. A thousand dollars more. It was sixteen hundred dollars less than what you found it for. Yes, but Derek, we all decided we weren't going to get a photo booth. Well, you and Julie decided you didn't want it. I decided that I did, and I found oh. it. I don't believe this. The only thing I can I do have to say about it is it is pretty cool. It's gonna be I fun. I still tonight. can't believe that you spend another thousand dollars, but it is you know, it's gonna be cool. And from one surprise to another, or maybe two. Julie, I didn't even realize we were wearing that veil. Oh, you didn't? No. <laughs> How can you not see it? It actually looks good though, honey. You like, I like it? it? I do like it. Just kind of roll into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can drink it. Uh, oh, up on the ledge, honey. Up on the ledge. Okay, go. Up on the ledge, you're okay. Go, go. Okay. I can't even see my foot. Just wait, just wait. Wait. <laughs> when I got into the horse and buggy, it could have been disastrous. I could have fallen and <laughs> into like a puddle or something. No. Oh, it Once you got in, bad. though, it was okay. We Once nice we were ride. in, it was great. But then when it came to getting actually out of the horse and buggy, somebody left the step where we started. <laughs> so we had no step at all. So we were sort of um, stranded in the buggy. OK, so there's a problem. Yeah. yeah, we don't have any stairs to get Are out you of serious? Stuff. We need yeah. to get out of here, Heidi. Okay, I'm gonna, you... go, I'm gonna go grab your guys. I'll get yeah, yeah. something. I'll be okay. right back. Okay, Thank thanks, you. Heidi. <laughs> How are you gonna get out? That's my I don't know. We may just roll this into Do the theater. Just roll it into the ceremony <laughs> down the aisle? <laughs> this was not part of the vision. <laughs> really? Best laid plans, Darren. I hope that's solid wood. <laughs> I made them stand on it. No, 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 I made them stand on it. It's okay. So I had to step out on a very elegant table. <laughs> to go to the ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> She's got tiny legs. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Yay! How many people does it take to get a bride out of a carriage? You're a table dancer now, Julie. <laughs> With my string shoes. <laughs> now, if only the flower girl could take things in such stride. Take off your sweater now so we can give you your basket. Yeah. Take your sweater off, grab your sweater. basket, and then Let's trade. Please. Where are sweetie? You're smashing your head. You're smashing your head. Like, come on. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> Does she want to leave? Hold on. Does she want to leave the sweater on? Yeah. Then the sweater's on. This is no big deal, is okay, it? OK, OK. Oh, Let's go. Sarah, it's OK. Come on, honey. You can leave your sweater ready. on. And believe it or not, the flower girl made it down the aisle and back up again. I was absolutely floored when I saw Julie come in the doors. Like, she looked incredible. I know I saw her earlier in the day, but it was the moment, you know, that she was coming down the aisle. And it was just, it was really special. It was really incredible.
I, Derek. I, Derek. Take you, Julie. Take you, Julie. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Julie. Take you, Derek. Take you, Derek. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. Julie. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign. As a sign. Of my love. Of my love. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> she matches my bling now. <laughs> By the virtues and powers vested in me, do hereby pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> I knew that there was like, you know, over 100 people in the audience, but it felt like you're just in the zone and that's all you yeah. can contemplate. It's a strange really mix nice. of like a, a very personal situation, but sharing it with lots of people that you love too, which is, yeah, is really pretty nice. cool. Coming up. I don't know if we have enough chairs, but I'll check. I'm not sitting on my lap. I was nervous because of it was just a major event in my life but I, I certainly wasn't worried about it or concerned, and I didn't think she'd hightail it and say no when the minister asked, do you take him or not? Uh, he never asked that question. When it comes to weddings, not only is a picture worth a thousand words, but sometimes a thousand dollars as well. This is a photo booth. We yeah. decided no photo booth. No, you decided no photo booth. I decided that I wanted How much did you pay for this? A thousand dollars. Soon, we'll divulge how much Derek and Julie spent to have the day they'd always envisioned. I think everything came together perfectly. The decor looked incredible. If that was the vision, the vision was realized. It was beautiful. It, it did. It, it blew me away. Thanks to Heidi keeping her eye on everything and everyone. I am missing five table settings. Where? OK, this is where we're going to put them. Table two, we're putting two. Mm -hmm. We're adding two. And then table 17, which only has five, we're going to add three to there. Yep. OK, so we need the chairs and all the table settings. I don't know if we have enough chairs, but I'll check. Well, they're not sitting on my lap. You know what? I need to get more favors, too. Yeah. Shoot. I think without a doubt, like, I don't want to toot our own horns here, but our our reception party entrance was the be best that I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. I thought it was awesome. All of the girls came down one set of stairs. All the guys came down another. And they were just dancing and having a great time. It really set the tone for the night that this isn't going to be a stuffy dinner and party. Like, get out there, have a good time. Mm -hmm. and, for sure. Yeah, the girls and the guy did. And it was awesome. Shake that booty, Derek. <laughs> She's been kind of disappointed because I've been telling her that we couldn't get Craig Cardiff to come today. But he's here. <laughs> no, he's not. Yes, he is. Derek, good job. Finally, one of your decisions has pleased Julie. Craig's her favorite singer. Say, how did you sneak in? Thought all doors had been closed. But now that you're here, I don't think I could stand to see a ghost singing, I'm only I, I'm only I. But you were only you and we. We were only we and four. All right, I'm hungry. Let's eat. And that's exactly what they did. Every penny we've spent on this wedding has been absolutely worth it. It really has been a beautiful day, and I, yeah. I can't wait to spend forever with you, darling. <laughs> Let's just hope it doesn't take forever to pay this bill. The original budget that we handed Heidi was $15,000. The cake was tasteful and tasty. It cost $477. Didn't end up getting my sleigh, but the horse and buggy was a lot of fun. It cost $500. The flowers and centerpieces gave us a total bang for our buck. They cost $959. I'm so happy I ended up getting the photo booth. The pictures we have are priceless. I got it for $1,000. My wedding attire rocked. The dress, including accessories, came to $1,040.
I'm pretty sure Heidi wanted to kill me at times, but she really helped us pull everything together, including staying up the whole night before the wedding. Her total fee was $3,000. I already had my ring, but shopping with the King of Bling was certainly a memorable experience. Our total ring cost was $3,100. The decor rentals and snow machine really made my vision come alive. The total cost was $3,135. Even though the bar wasn't my first choice for a venue, it ended up that it totally worked out. The total cost of catering and alcohol came to $9,959. Miscellaneous costs, including DJ, photographer, candy, and Craig Carter's performance, came to a total of $6,208. What we actually spent, though, was $29,378. Which means that we were over by $14,378. <laughs> Almost double our budget. Yeah, it was worth it, though. Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah. The photos are taken, the flower girl recovered, and the bouquet tossed. The only question left is, did the guests notice the candy didn't match the decor? Even if we had more money, it wouldn't make any sense to spend it because... Everything was perfect. Everything was, yeah. Well, it was the 70s, and apparently there was some streaking at the motel after the wedding, but we didn't see that. One of the bridesmaids, possibly more. Ah, that's gonna leave a mark.